Tonight on Retail Nightmares, we take a look at the best or otherwise worst Karen moments of 2024. Let's take a look. This Karen had actually drove her car into someone else's car and denied it. She said that there was such minimal damage that she was going to go on her day before then smacking the other car repeatedly in an attempt to fix the damage. My car is damaged. Is where? Right is here. If you want to see, you oh, can come over. Why are you hitting my car, lady? Because it's not damaged. Get away from Poor this. employee. Crazy. You know, just took, you know, took me to, you know. And it's not damaged. I mean, usually what you're supposed to do you're, you're in an to, accident yeah. is we exchange information. Mm -hmm. Is she driving away? Yeah. Huh? I got it now. Okay, so this entitled Karen was holding a parking spot for somebody else, which obviously isn't allowed. That's when somebody who actually wanted to take the parking spot got into this mix up with the Karen, who obviously refused to move out of the spot. The problem here, though, as well, is that this Karen was holding a spot for somebody who wasn't going to be there for another hour. Let's have a look. I was holding a parking spot for my friend who was coming right in traffic, and these people tried to literally run me over. So I am waiting for them to get out of their car. So they like chat with them and they won't get out of their car. Back up, back up, back up. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Get the out. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? You are the rudest person I have ever met. You have balls. You have balls. You are so. I'm sorry, but that's not. Are you sorry? I feel like you're not because that was really. Okay, so this person was being a troubled customer at this Motel 6, and for this reason, his reservation was cancelled and he was denied service. He wasn't very happy about this and confronted the employee, and strongly believes that he was profiled and thinks that that's the reason why he was denied service. This employee is in disbelief that he would assume that about her. So let's have a look. Why? Just explain to me why, Kiki, you're refusing my services. Sir. Because I'm mixed race? That's why? Because I'm half black? Yes, that's what I feel. <laughs> That's what I feel because really? I have a Sir, double I have a double room. Money, I have a double room. I have a double room and then the room is wrong on go. my reservation. That's 72 and 31, sir. I'm gonna cancel the reservation. You have a blessed rest of your day, sir. I'm gonna have a receipt for the cancellation, please. Yes, you sure can. Because you didn't want anyone to deal with me anyway. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Well definitely I got you on tape and it'll definitely go to Motel 6 and it'll definitely go viral. So you're refusing, you're refusing my service because I'm light-skinned with long hair. <laughs> like, real talk, you're refusing my service. You laughed at me when I walked in, and you're refusing my service now. Just tell me, why are you refusing my services? I already paid, the room is wrong, and I said, here, and you just said, no. It's going to go viral anyway, but just tell me, though, Kiki, why are you refusing my services, though? Real, this is the Motel 6 way? Motel 6, Kiki is refusing my services for no, what is your reason why, Kiki? That you're refusing my services. I booked the room. This entitled Karen had a complaint with her neighbor, and instead of knocking on the door like any other person, she decided to help herself in late at night, stampede up the stairwell, and open this gentleman's door to confront him for it. She was soon escorted out where she had a total meltdown at them and made it clear this wouldn't be the last they heard from her. Let's have a look. Hi. Let's get a video. Let's take a picture of you too. Dude, you got a, my first Karen. You too. Literally walked into my house. I know I'm walking to your house. It's amazing. <laughs> and we're going to report you. I'm not going to report this to the, like, to the owner hey, because free. this is too much. You want to do this all the time. Feel free. So if you don't want people to come in, don't write entrance. Why do you hate music so much? Floor. Because you guys have been doing this all the time. Hey, you know, you could have just knocked on the door and the doorbell. We would have turned it Oh, off. no, 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 no. We did. We did. You guys didn't hear it. And that was the direction you chose to take us. Thank well, you. Have a great night. You What's your name? Which house is yours, Miss Trespasser? <laughs> Maybe I should follow her to her house. <clears throat> Let's see which lady this is. BMW. Ooh. 
She's got a beamer, we can get the This uneducated police officer tried power tripping on these friends hanging out on their bikes by telling them that they couldn't bicycle in that area when they literally could. Luckily, this informed citizen told the cop to go get stuffed and even cited the legalities about it, which put this cop in his place. Let's have a look. Just because you walk your bikes. If you're, if you're up here and doing tricks and people are like, I don't care, but once you get off of this, you can't ride your bikes down here. If you can pass that word along, that'll keep people from complaining to me and I won't come talk to you. Is there a law change? What's that? Is there a law change? Yeah, you can't ride your bikes on the boardwalk. When did that law change? Uh, it's been a law for quite a while. 16.16.502 specific sectional code that states you can ride your bicycles around out here. So I, I don't know what law you're referring to. Okay, you want to go that way? We can go that way. If you mean... want to pull out your civic code and you want to look up the code, 16.16.502 states that you can ride your bicycle out here. So if you want to come out here, you want to tell or people... Exactly where? The Rainbow Harbor Esplanade, which is this entire area that you just parted to. From right. all the way at the end down there to all the way this here, that's Rainbow Harbor Esplanade, 15.15. So did you get your law degree on Facebook or where did you actually obtain that? So do I have to have a, a law degree to be an informed citizen? Is that what you're saying? It's wrong to be informed. It's wrong to know the law. It's wrong, it's wrong to know your rights. Where you got it. Uh, I got it by knowing my rights. Is it wrong to know your rights as a citizen? Because last time I checked when officers come and they try to invalidate your rights by telling you bull laws and enforcing their opinions, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to support the law. And when the law says you can ride your bikes out here, you have no business coming up and harassing anyone telling that they shouldn't ride their bike. Oh, this is harassment now. When you tell someone to not ride their bike when they're legally able to ride their bike, yes, that is harassment. Your opinion is irrelevant. The law states we're gonna ride our bike. Now, do you have anything else to say or are you gonna leave us alone? You, you have want, a you, nice day. Yeah, you have a nice day. We're gonna There's continue riding on, man. On this is our right. I've been riding here for six years. You know how many cops come out here and try to pull Big, me? dude. Green yeah. big. Hey, what was your name, officer? Uh, it's on the shirt. Okay. Lieutenant Cobo. I know. It's Lieutenant Cobo. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, I appreciate you, you know, not, not giving a and walking away. Please stay informed and don't harass the public, all right? This Karen had some serious road rage when she cut off this other driver. She then ran up to the vehicle only to kick and punch it, damaging the vehicle, and then fled the scene, meaning there was no insurance information exchanged. Let's have a look. See? This customer had ordered a sandwich from Jimmy John's and when he went to pick it up he had to pay. Upon paying he realized that they did not accept card and they could only accept cash which he didn't have. For this reason it was store protocol not to give out the sandwich. He then had a total meltdown so let's have a look. So you don't accept cash and you made my sandwich and you're just gonna throw it away. I didn't know you were gonna pay cash. Can I just have my sandwich? Now? No, I'm not gonna risk my job for you. You're gonna know what? I'm not gonna risk my job for you. Because you don't accept money? No, because you can't pay. I have cash. Yeah, I mean, can't accept it to you, as I told you. Oh, this so, is gonna be funny for your manager. I, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything for you. You what? I'm not gonna do anything for you. I can't accept cash for you. I'm not gonna give you a free sandwich and risk my job for you. So you can go ahead and leave. Talk to my manager if you want. They're not gonna do a thing for you. You can talk to them all you want. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, because you don't accept cash. Just today, yes, that's it. Circumstances. We can't give up change today, so I'm not allowed to accept cash today. <laughs> hey, hey, you. You ever heard of anything like this? I mean, 
mean, yeah, I know, but it's uh, the system down and everything. It's like, yeah, it's just policy. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I think just favor, quit wasting our time. Just go. There's nothing we can do. Of course, you're going to keep me out because I have money. No, I, as I've said, we can't accept it today. <laughs> like, what do you want My me to do? My God, you people are ridiculous. Are you real? Like, it's just circumstances. What do you want me to do about it? Okay, so you're going to throw food in the garbage it's because somebody awesome. walks in with money to buy the food they ordered. And you're... <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I'm sorry. I can't give you a free sandwich, all right? Look, I can't accept your cash. I can't change the safe as I said already. There's nothing more I can do for you, and that's it. Of course. No, I hope you enjoy your free sandwich. Because I know you're going to eat it, right? No, I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to trash it, because that's what I'm supposed you're, to do. You're just going to throw it in the trash? Yes. Do you accept Bitcoin? What? No. I can take part. Apple Pay, Google Pay. Because we can't accept cash today. What? I'm not trying to kick you out. I've upset you. No, you're fine. I, I just don't know how to handle this situation. I've waited years for this to happen. For what to happen? This exact moment, it just blows my mind. It's utterly... This entitled customer had been caught shoplifting by pretending that her baby was in her stroller, when in reality there was a bunch of items she had stolen underneath the covers. She then tried to leave the grocery store but an employee had stopped her, and that's when she went into a total meltdown demanding that they move out of her way so that she could take the stolen goods out of the store. Let's have a look. Dude, let me talk to your manager, bro. Stop blocking my way, bud. That's false imprisonment. That's false imprisonment, bro. You're making me uncomfortable, bud. That's false imprisonment. Don't touch my stroller, bro. Can you open it up? Don't touch my stroller, bro. Don't touch my stroller, bro. Let me talk to your manager. Excuse me. Where's his manager at, please? He's like blocking my way, bro. Can you open it up? No, I can't actually. Yes, you can. Can you put your face mask on? No, I don't have any. I just put him right there. He just came back. So now you already. Oh my God, where is your manager, bro? I got your camera taking stuff out. You already shopping. You don't let me know, bro. But. And then I have my it's my in the truth. My is my There's nothing else in there, bro. Look. Open it up. Nothing open it up. Maybe one more. Right more. more. I just Take got in this store. You bring the rest of it out. There is nothing else in here. Look. Why don't you look? Take the cover Why don't you just look? I'm not doing all that. Take the cover off. I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna snatch it off soon. Oh my god. It's on camera. Go ahead. There is nothing under here. Okay, move it. Move it. Oh my god. It's a banana. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. Oh, big what? A banana. This Karen was an extremely aggressive driver when she flipped somebody off after cutting them off. The driver ended up following this Karen and confronting her for it, where she instantly regretted her decision and had a total meltdown. This Karen then screamed that she was under attack and tried to close her eyes to make it disappear. Let's have a look. I don't Karen, are you okay? What Can you explain to me calmly? No, because you're attacking me right now. I'm not attacking you. Ma'am, you flicked me off. Karen, you flipped me off. No, you kidding. cut me off no, and flipped me off, and now you're playing the victim. Ma'am, would you like to calm down? No, you're attacking me right now. Without even Guys, she flipped me off. She literally flipped me off, and then she tried to come home. She's Karen. Karen, would you like to calm down and have a conversation? Why are you? Am I attacking her? Ma'am, I'm not attacking you. You flipped me. Ma'am, I'm not attacking you. You flipped me off and you thought you could get away with it. You didn't think I would find you. No, 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 no. I will talk to you if you will stop. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. She can apologize for calling me and flipping me off. I'm trying to talk to you. My name is Carlos. Would you like to speak to me? This is what we get picked. Ma'am, why are you sitting here crying? What have I done to you? These entitled customers decided that they didn't need to pay for the items that they were stealing before being recorded and chased outside. These thieves were so quick to leave the scene that they even forgot to remove the trolley from underneath their car before damaging their vehicle in an attempt to get away. Let's have a look. Call the cops. Get the, uh, a mail with a big box. Why you guys do that? 
mad, man. No, what's the point? Don't I said I'd get a job. No, don't get mad. You're stealing. No, we need more money than all you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I work. Do you work? Take it back, please. This homeowner was doing some work to his boundary line and removing the fence posts. That's when the next door neighbor saw what was happening and thought that those fence posts were actually his and went out to confront him. This neighbor was anything but polite about the situation when he got extremely heated towards him and even tried attacking him several times. Let's have a look. Post. That's my post. What? My post. Which post? These posts? These posts aren't yours, dude. They're my fence. That post is, that post is not your post. Yeah. Bullshit. You, you want to bet on your fence to mine. What the? Are you crazy? You must yeah. be smoking that crack, dog, because this all belongs to me, dog. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, yes, not. it does, bro. No, Look at this. Not. Look at this. This fence here is mine. Look where the line is, my friend. No. You can see it. Look at that. It's not tied line. up to it. You're a moron, dude. You're not tied up hey. to it. I wouldn't touch me if I were you, buddy. <laughs> You're a moron. You're a moron. You should go get a survey if you think it's your fence. You should go get a survey. No, no it's my fence. It's post. not your fence, you and moron, it's that right post. in my line. That, no, post, that post is post not is yours. Yes, it is. Prove it. Go get a survey. You Why are you it. shaking? I'm not you know shaking. I'm. And reach over. Go ahead. Then you're going to jail. I ain't going to jail, bro. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. That is my post. That's not and your post. it's been there for since you your garage before it was built. No, it was yes, not, bro. Was. Yeah, I've lived in this neighborhood before you even lived this in this house neighborhood. This house was built before you that garage. You want to bet? Fence post is mine. That post is not yours, yes, bro. It it's never been yours. Yes, it is. No, prove it. You attached Go get a it survey. to my No, post. you f***ing didn't. No, I didn't. It's it was been, attached to this fence. This fence. This when fence. I bought this survey it then. Show me your proof then, mother. Dig it up. Dig it up, dog. In the meantime, you ain't got no proof that that's your post. Because guess what? This was right here, son. It was hooked up to that. Well, what? Okay, so this lady was tying her cat up at the staircase so the cat wouldn't run away. This is obviously dangerous as the cat could fall off the stairwell and get caught up in her leash, which would obviously injure the cat. For this reason, this gentleman called this lady out and told her to untie the cat, which set this Karen off when she decided to confront him and tell him to leave her area immediately. Let's have a look. This place is for over 65. You're not even supposed to be here. I'm allowed to be here. You got nothing to do with it. You're not allowed you got to be nothing here. to do with it's it. For over Why don't you get back in your and apartment? I'm 71 and you shouldn't be upsetting us all the all the I'm time. not upsetting you. You are. You're tying your cat on You're the staircase. You're tying your cat. You're your tying your cat on the staircase. You're tying your cat on the staircase. All you do is nagging and picking on everybody. Oh, get it on the tape. I will. Don't report to housing. I will. Oh, I report here and, about you. You come here and harass me. You know, I had a drunk living there. With and you're you and you're got a drunk living down and below you know me. What? And you're a drinker. You're you're the worst. Your cat everywhere. It doesn't. It does. I just washed it off today on the. Off the that wasn't my cat. That's your cat. That tied up there. That was not my cat. That was not my cat. I know where my cat. And firstly, I asked you nicely about the cat. You started yeah, yelling well, at me. Yeah, you didn't ask me nicely this afternoon, did you? Yes, you, I did. You automatically went, "Oh, your cats on the stairs. They're very dangerous." And I said it nicely. Grow up. Go away. You're too young to be old. Mental case. Grow up. Go away. Okay, so this person was trying to see a doctor and for some reason he had his phone confiscated. I assume that this gentleman was not following the same rules as everybody else inside of the waiting room and this was the employee's way of trying to get him to leave by taking his property. The gentleman was not happy about this and started recording her as she tried to call the police and just get him to leave the premise, which he wasn't going to do. Let's have a look. Your phone back, please. You do not have the right to have my phone with you. That's our property. I'm asking for it back. Now you're violating our rights. That's our property that you're having a hold of. Give me the phone back. You know, you don't have the right to do that. This is actually technically theft under $5,000. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm taking a photo. I have the right to. Yeah, I have the right to. I have the right to record everything that's happening right now. And you do not have the right to have her no, property. Have What's your problem? And ask you for, take a seat for what though, I said? Go. I don't say I'm not going to waste my time. Yes or no? Give my phone back right now. 
Do you want to see a doctor? Yes or Give no? Give me the phone. I don't want to see the doctor today with you guys. No, I don't. No. I don't. Phone? Give me the phone then. When you go? I, I will give you your phone. No, you give me the phone, then we leave. How can we leave without the phone? And the door. Oh, whoa, you're attacking me. <laughs> oh, that's oh, assault. Oh. That is assault. Oh, oh look. So this lady just waved her hand at me. Okay, so this gentleman was driving his Korea truck when he went through an intersection and the person in front of him didn't indicate correctly. The problem is though, the gentleman in front of him thought he did everything correctly, so he stopped his vehicle and confronted this employee. He took his anger out of this employee and started yelling and screaming at him. Let's have a look. Pole, yes, pole in the DHL truck, US dot, send it to your boss. I'm sure they'll agree. Send it to your boss. You were rolling. Who do you work for? You were, I work for myself. You, you were, want to you lose your job today? You were, you were rolling you through. You want to lose your job today? You were rolling you through a stop parked. sign. You do deliveries, right? You're illegally parked. So keep on recording. I might call DHL. And get you were you rolling through a stop sign, so I was going to let you go. You were rolling through a stop I sign, so I you stop so I, the intersection. Is there a stop sign here for you? You're rolling through the is stop, there a stop sign. sign here for you? Is there a stop sign here for this kid? He's not going to win. You're not going to win, kid. Is there a stop sign? So why are you stopping the one you, way? You're rolling through the stop sign, so I, I was going to let you go. You're about to lose your job, kid. Yeah, they're really going to fire me when you're using that kind of language. Why not? Yeah, why not? they're really, when you're why this not? upset over, over something... This simple. Check this out. Yeah. Check this out, boss. What? You got the right one. Why not? Tatra Signy? You know what Tatra Signy is? Who's that? You don't even know where the you at. I got something for you. Okay, so this Karen was in this drive-thru and she was being incredibly disrespectful towards this employee. This employee decided enough was enough and decided to give her the same attitude back and told her that she didn't care about her problems or her order and told her to go away. This Karen was shocked and humiliated when she realized she wasn't going to get her way. Let's have a look. Good morning. Get away from the window. I'm not talking to you anymore. I don't care. You don't care? No. Get me the manager. Like, can you hear her talking to me? Can you put that to number one? Your mom don't care how I talk to you. She's not gonna do nothing. What do you mean she don't care how I talk to you? She's not... You better get her. You better. You better do it right now. I'm gonna watch you do it right now because that is. A... Uh, 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 no. uh, 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 what? Don't talk to me like that. I talk to you however I want. You gonna Please talk to me however you want? Yeah. You... <laughs> Are you? Do you hear that? No, no, no. It's ready. Yeah. Yeah, get out of my draft. Come on! Come on! She jumped out the way. Oh. Mom, she just poured a whole glass of water on me. Don't try to play me, stupid. Okay, so this lady was walking her dog when this Karen interrupted her and blocked her line of sight. What had happened was this Karen stood in her way and demanded that she walked around her and stayed off the sidewalk. This Karen actually believed as she lived in this neighborhood that she owned the sidewalk and didn't let this lady through with her dog even though she has as much entitlement to it as she does. Let's have a look. You're on my property. I'm on a dog. Leaving feces behind. I'm on a public sidewalk. Yeah, no, you're on my property. And you're I take me. care of it. You're Pay me. for it. No, I'm not. I paid for this sidewalk. You shoved me. Yeah. I got that on camera Let's get too. Out of here. Yep, just, just shoved yeah. me again. You want me to hit you? You want me to hit you? I'm not on your property. Yes, you are. I paid for all this. You paid for this sidewalk. Get your out of here too. Go on. Oh good, Woo. you got a video. Yeah. Shoving me into the road now. Okay. This customer was actually caught and exposed for shoplifting and for this reason they actually locked the doors on her so that she couldn't leave while they called the authorities. This customer claimed that she wasn't shoplifting and even though she was caught putting things down her pants, she claims it was just an itch and that she was in the right. Let's have a look. Open the door, I'm listening. I'm not opening the door. Come on, Ray, please get out of these people's service. Can you please give call me, the police? I'm finna call the police because you Well, y'all call the police because I'm telling you, look. You said I stole something, I put something down here, baby. I was digging in my tail. That's what I was doing. I was digging down here. I'm gonna show you, I was digging, I got a pad on. I ain't put nothing down here. Now y'all finna get in trouble and show the police the camera. I was digging in my tail. That's what I was doing, digging. You finna go to jail. I was digging, I got a hole I wanna show you. 
Man, I, man, what, what's good? I, I'm recording this one so you can have for your uh, evidence. But please keep recording they and please playing. send that to me, boo. Because mm -hmm. I don't know why she's doing this. Mm -hmm. She don't like me because mm -hmm. she knows I'm sister mm -hmm. man before her sister, mm -hmm. boo. All about her ugly behind mm -hmm. Billy, girl, Billy Jean, girl, Jean Davis. Uh, mm -hmm. the, all about a man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I ain't messed with in over 10 years. Baby, move. Baby, move, baby. Baby, move, baby. Baby, move please. Nope. Nope. The police taking hey, forever you, to you get him. They coming. No, you need to move from this door. You're locking me in here to my I stole something. What I like? But what did I steal? What did I steal? Why was you digging down there, man? Because my coochie was itching. And I have a right to scratch it because I'm grown. And I have a whole panel out of panel. It didn't look like you were scratching down there. I know what I was doing, baby. There ain't nothing down there, is it? Is there something down there? Draw. This Karen had actually stopped this gentleman and detained him, demanding information from him, as well as his ID. The gentleman obviously wasn't going to give this to a random person, and that's when this Karen states that she used to be the president of the homeowners association and thinks that he's up to no good. The gentleman then completely puts this Karen in her place for making up such an accusation about him. Let's have a look. Why do you don't think I live here? Because of the way I look? Because why? I, until two weeks ago, I was president of the Homeowners Association, okay. and to my knowledge, I know everybody who lives here. Okay. That's the only So thing. why did you assume that I don't live here because you don't know me? Because there's only 42 buildings. Only 42 buildings. You knew every single person in 42 buildings? Where do you live? Huh? Do you know every single person in 42 buildings, ma'am? Thank you very much. I rest my case. Do me a favor. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stop with the fake laugh and just go. All right. It's not a fake laugh. I think it's Enjoy really your day. Funny. I mean, we have this happen. These neighbors got into a huge dispute between each other because apparently they had barking dogs, but it wasn't this Karen's fault because his dog was setting her dog off. This Karen was also accusing this gentleman of recording her in her home, which I don't think is true because he has been with his girlfriend this entire time, and I'm sure she wouldn't be too happy about that if he was. Have a look. You have no rights. You have no rights to record me at my house and take pictures of my car. If so, it's visible from public, listen. it can be recorded. Yeah, it can be. But you know what else? You don't have to be a when you're on somebody else's private property. If you want your girlfriend to I was on your job, private property? You were sitting right there in front of my house all day long. Is that your you were, private property? You, and you were looking in my window. So Is you know it? What? You want your girlfriend to continue to have a job here? Keep acting like or change your okay. attitude. It's all no, on camera. It, and it can be. Change your attitude i haven't done anything i haven't done anything you are, wrong you are right now recording me when you have no right to you're being a bag Look at and this. you're stalking me you wow. come to my house after when you're not even supposed to be here and coming here and recording people when am i supposed to be here you don't live here <laughs> you don't work here you shouldn't be here your girlfriend's at work she can't get her job done when all she's doing is sitting here watching you fondle yourself day are you on megan's <laughs> creep what's your name okay so this landlady tried to evict this tenant illegally by showing up with power drills and trying to intimidate him out of her property the problem here though is that this tenant has rights and it's also illegal for her to show up without notice and try to intimidate him out of the building let's have a look ma'am we, we, we need to leave my house ma'am please ma'am i'm asking you to please leave my house ma'am please i can have the right ma'am i do not feel safe and i'm asking you to please leave my house safe. at this current Ma'am, at this current moment, under Louisiana law, oh, you think I'm playing, huh? Under Louisiana law, ma'am, I'm asking you to please leave my house. I'm not playing. That's the Western warning. Entry. That is the first warning. The I second warning, ma'am, I'm finna go into my home and I'm finna shut my door. I have a right of entry. I'm finna go into my home and I'm finna shut my door. Right I'm on, live. I'm finna go in my home and shut my door. Right of entry. On guard. Use it. If I shut my door and I think someone is attempting to break into my home with a drill. I'm right here. I will let, hey. I'm right here. Hey. You, you see, see him, huh? I'm you see him, huh? Now I'm finna shut my door, y'all. Y'all, y'all see this, right? Y'all see this? I'm finna shut the door. Now when I come, when I come back out the door, now when I come back out the door, at least I'm finna shut my door. When I come back out the door, now y'all see this. I have this right of entry. Mr. Police Officer, this is for you for when you pull Read up. Because police. she's finna call you in five seconds when I grab it. Finna grab it. But listen, but listen, I'm finna go. No, no, not you, not you at all. I'm finna grab nothing for you. You finna want to leave my house in a second before I grab what I grab. Please, Get the help off my door. I'm not leaving. Leave. Now. Leave because I do not feel safe. You finna leave. You gotta leave. You're not finna take my door off. You cannot no, do it. Your... What? Man, you cannot do that. Get smell my house. You can smell it. Man, ma'am, you gotta leave. You cannot take nobody's door off their frame. That is illegal. Is you crazy? It's not. Is you crazy? 
Yes, ma'am. I need some, a unit out. Yeah, you need one. You really need one. Thanks for watching guys and if you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on.